Hey guys, what's going on? It's Bobby and welcome back to Tomb Raider Remastered New Games Plus. You join me on Colosseum and as normal, we've gotten straight into it. So, what we're going to do is swim up here. The crocodile might nip you. That's fine. Uh, we're going to be skipping a lot of enemies in this run through. As you can see, there's, a li there's actually two lions in there if you go around the corner. Um, there's two lions there and there's one here. I'm just going to go past him and then we're going to climb up here. We've climbed up, we're going to jump sideways, jump and back roll. If you want to kill the enemies, I'll show you a boulder now you can stand on to draw them in and then shoot them from there. Um, or you can just jump over their heads as they, they don't both spawn in the same place. The boulder's down there in that bottom right corner. You see, it looks like it's you're going to slide off of it, but you don't. You can stand on it, so you can use that one. But for the sake of the video and time, I'm going to just do it the normal way. That's good, Lara. Smash your head off the wall, girl. Right, there's two crocodiles down below with some magnum clips and what is the other ammo down there? There is, I think there's other ammo down there, I can't remember what it is. We're not going to get that because we don't actually need it at this point. Yeah, there's also shotgun shells, as you can see, ahead of us there. We're also not going to get those, or I'm not. You can if you want, just climb up and go and get them. Um, I'm going to come over here and we're going to make our way up and out. Don't know why I rolled it. Right, anyway, once you're here, what we're going to do is we're going to run out to the left. Pierre is up here. What I tend to do, just to give him a weirder spawning angle, is run up here. Into here. Kill the bats now. And he gets a slightly different spawning angle. He can run past you like that. That's ideal for us. We want him to miss as many of these shots as we can. So just jump around a little bit. Into here. Round. And then put your guns away. This is what it all hangs on now, whether we make this jump. So you're going to run up the corner, jump as late as possible, and grab. You can run at that from a better angle, but... Without Pierre shooting yet, it's a bit tougher. Uh, there are two um, gorillas in here. We're going to ignore those for now, because they haven't actually spawned in yet, because we came in this way. They actually spawn when you stand on the the other end of where we jumped up. So where we climbed up, the opposite side to that, if you climb up, if you jump up there, that's what spawns in the gorillas standing there. Yeah, so we don't have to worry about those for now. What we're going to do is come and collect this ammo. And then we're going to run out. What we're actually going to do now is go and jump off the other end. Um, if you follow my jump, you can land on a little slide, you'll take no damage. So here, and then jump off slightly to the right, and you'll land on that slide there. I tend to do two jumps here, just to get away from the enemies, and then another one up there. And we're now safe from everything in the middle. Up here, two bats. Roll under that second one. There we go. Right, we're going to do this the super safe way. So we're just going to run forward and drop off the edge. While you're down here, just roll. And then run back so that you can climb up where you drop down. You can just jump and hang, obviously, to miss that boulder and do it the fancy pants way. But then this, this uh, walkthrough is to show how to do it the foolproof way. So that's what we'll do. Nice and easy, up we come. Pull the lever. Right, what I tend to do here is pull out my guns in case sometimes this lion can spawn in a weird place. And he's a bit difficult to get past. As Pierre. So he's going to jump over him. Pierre here has spawned behind us. That is fantastic for what we need. So we're just going to run forward. And we're going to jump up here. So I'm going to jump up. She's missed. Oh my god, she missed. Right, let's do that again. Right. So, you're going to run in. If you just touch that column, I didn't touch it. Jesus, wept it. Sorry, guys. Let's jump all the way back out again. 
going in. Touch the column. There we go. Jump sequence, forwards, thought it'll close behind us. Sorry that took so long. That's a, normally quite a basic jump. And the reason I want to do that is because there's actually 300 Uzi rounds in here and 50 Magnum rounds. So those are very handy. So I do recommend doing that jump. I'll, I'll run you through exactly what I'm doing there in just a second. Let me pull this lever first. Oh, nearly made a huge error. Just run, drop, and you can just drop again. Right, here's exactly what I was doing. This column here, if you run into the side a bit, it opens up the door up top. You then have to jump. I won't make it in here. You jump forward there, right, back, left, and then you would jump forward and run again. And that is how you get in there. Yeah, that door will not open unless you touch the column. Right, what we're going to do from here, run out, run straight. Oh, that lion has spawned in a horrible position. Pierre spawned in a lovely position. Yeah, this lion can actually, when he spawns there, he can actually follow you into the room. So, I say spawned, he's ran himself into that position. And Pierre's actually followed us in there as well. Really bad luck. Anyway, jump down into the... Get up as fast as you can, jump down into the water, and then swim up, climb out. There's some magnum rounds there, we'll get them in a second. I'm going to pull the boulder out, or the block, should I say. I'm going to try and run across the gap. There we go. I'm not even going to bother pulling up, doing anything else. You're meant to push this block forwards, but. Because of the glitch where you can just jump through the side. You don't have to do that. Less, less pushing of blocks, you know what I mean? There we go, straight back into the water. All we have to do essentially now is make that jump one more time. So the jump into the central part where the gorillas are, we have to make that jump again. Only difference is this time the gorillas will have spawned. So we're going to hop down. Where's Pierre spawned? Okay, good. So we'll do it this way then because he's over there. We just have to make this jump one more time. So again, all the way to the edge there. As you're getting up, pull your shotgun out because both of these gorillas will now have spawned because we've stood on their spawn point before. There you go. That's one. The other one's going to spawn in now. Is he being weird? Come on, don't be weird. Hey. There you go, done. I would now save, just to get your health back. Uh, so I'm going to save here. So you can have your health back, because there's one more enemy. And it's a crocodile. Crocodiles are so weird in this game, they're almost harmless. Almost. Um, But if you get caught getting up... Because you've got to climb up out this water. If you get caught climbing up here by this crocodile, he can just chomp at you and take an absolute chunk of health. There you go. I'm going to jump backwards, straight in, swim forward. There you go. And then just swim all the way out. And that is the end of Colosseum. Not one of the tougher missions, assuming that you can make a couple of jumps. So as you can see, it only took us nine minutes there. You know, not too bad. Hopefully this has helped you guys get through Coliseum on New Game Plus, And I'll, uh, I'll see you in the next one. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Peace.